poor namaste, poor namaste and much love to I and I. Welcome to the art of the world that I am. And I am speaking as love, so you may be love and others may love you as love and you may love others. I want to give you my word on something. Because yesterday it got into my perception, into my feeling. And this is very serious. This is very serious. And it can be very hard for you when it happens. For the intention is not opposing wicked. But they just do what they think. is love to do to you what I want to speak about you know when somebody who loves you is in your energy and they do something what doesn't feel right to you but they actually don't do it out of wicked intention they do it for they feel this is right for them and it doesn't feel right to you. And you ask them, please, don't do this to me. Like I ask, don't bless me, don't teach me, don't bless my food. But you can receive my teaching, blessing that I am here, and you can partake of this blessed food. doesn't feel right to me, I don't speak later, why not? But, such a delicate matter, you know. And somebody who loves you does something what actually pleases others. But it doesn't feel right to you. And you stop them. You say, please, don't do this in my energy. And they say, but I am blessing you, I am giving you this, it's my love, I love you, you don't understand, I'm giving you love. And this here you have to understand that this being is coming what they think and feel is right for them. They don't come out of wicked intention to oppose, oppose you or violate you. But I actually want to give you what they think is right for you. They don't feel really. You, they don't feel you. And in that moment, you may blame yourself. But they love me. They are doing this out of love. And then you allow them to do just that. You put up with it. But it doesn't feel right to you. And then you are putting up with it for long. And it may be things that is normal for others. But you will build up resentfulness. And the others will come and they will do it for you allow one. And you will suffer. For you have to understand one thing. Your energy is sacred, unique and authentic. Whatever doesn't feel right to you in your energy is not right for you. It is the energy of another what they are doing, interacting with your energy and doesn't feel right. It can feel right for everyone else. It doesn't feel right for you. For it is not right for you. It is right for others. It is right for the person that is doing it. You know. If it would feel right to you, if it would feel right to anyone, they would accept it, you would accept it, you would love it, you wouldn't feel dissonance, you wouldn't feel like it doesn't feel right, but you will accept it and receive it. It doesn't feel right to you, for it doesn't feel right to you. 
And whoever says this doesn't feel right to me, trust me, if it would feel right to me, if it would feel right to you, you would say, thank you, it's so beautiful. And everybody knows in their energy what is right for them. But this is the world of the mind, of control. And then crazy things happen. You don't know how to receive love. I was giving you love. Let us talk this out, please. What it means. I am right. What I'm doing, giving to you is love. And we will talk until you accept it, that I am right. First of all, or they, you know, if they say this, they want to talk it out, you know they are gaslighting and they are intentionally gaslighting. And in this world this is normal. You are at your peace, somebody comes, does something and doesn't feel right, you don't like it. And then they blame you for it, they want to talk it out, and it's suddenly your fault. They were giving you love. You don't understand. But, you were in peace. It didn't feel right to you. And that's why you responded. And this is called gaslighting. They are questioning your sanity, questioning how you feel. So now you... Now you are responsible for what they did, and now you are guilty. Many times like this, oh, you don't understand, I was giving you love, why you, you act like this is not love? They make you blame yourself. And that's gaslighting, that's intentional gaslighting, that's coming consciously. Consciously, unconsciously. <laughs> but somebody may just give you something out of love, and then they don't gaslight, maybe just once. They say, but I was giving you love. And you say again, that no, this doesn't feel right to you. And you ask them specifically not to do it. That's how I say. But uh, if they don't gaslight, if they don't blame, they don't make you blame yourself and give them that energy. But then you may blame yourself. Oh, but they are coming out of love. Oh, they, 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 this they did sincerely. And you may go blame yourself. And you give them that energy. First of all, the one who is gaslighting you, try to talk it out and blames you like it, you did something wrong when you were actually disturbed by how they made you feel in your energy. This one is gaslighting you and is doing it intentionally. Run away. But the other one, who doesn't gaslight you and still says, but I'm giving you love, come on. Doesn't blame you for it, but just feels hurt inside. They are doing it unconsciously, unconsciously gaslighting you. And that can make you blame yourself. And this is very serious because so many, many, many people in this world like, oh, but I should do this for them. I should allow them to do this, but they are coming out of love. Yes. But one thing is here. I was giving you love. In this world, everybody speaking, I was giving you love, this is love. But then they suffer in attachments, in control, in resistance, suffering. And love is free of suffering. Love never resists. Love never controls. Love loves you for who you are. And love is unconditional respect of your unique and authentic energy. 
So they say, this is love. You don't know, I'm giving you love, it's my love. They are unconscious of themselves. They really think so, but they don't know what love is. And in their relationships, in their life, they suffer because of it. Because they're telling to those who they are most attached that this, what they're doing is love and they don't understand and then they control them, create karma and create suffering, drama. But they don't understand I'm giving everybody love, why there's so much suffering. They're unconscious of the self. And when somebody says I'm giving you love, you may blame yourself. That's your ego blaming you for how you feel. Like it is not good enough how you feel in your energy. But like I told you in the beginning, how you feel in your energy is your truth. It's the energy of another interacting with your energy and energy never lies. It doesn't feel right to you for it is not right for you. And so it is. Ego will blame you that you are not good enough, that you don't feel right, that you should suffer and give to others that energy, allow them to do what they want, then you will resent, for they will be doing it always. More of them will come, for you will teach people to do it, you will not love yourself. Then you resent, you blame, you even hate, you suffer. <laughs> and then you love them like you love yourself. Because you don't love yourself, you don't stand up for yourself. But when you stand up for yourself, like I, I am in unique source consciousness, shadow, Zen master, is a blessing for everyone. I don't need things that people are giving me and I see that they need things that they are imposing upon me. So they don't allow themselves to receive that things. You are on your level of consciousness. You are in your unique and authentic energy. And you know how you feel in your unique and authentic energy. And when you say, sorry, my friend, sorry, my love, this doesn't feel right to me. Please stop. You have presented your personal unique energy to that being, to that person. I give you my word. For so it is. And now what's love? Love is unconditional respect of unique and authentic energy of another. As you have presented, you have told them, no, this is not who I am. This is my energy. Don't do this to me because this doesn't feel right to me. You have told them who you are. <laughs> you have showed them who you are. And love never resists. Love never controls. Love never tries to change. No resistance. Love accepts unconditionally free will, unique personal energy of another. How I made you feel in your energy. If you ask me stop that, I will not ask you even why. I will say I love you as myself. I don't want you to make me feel not right. I will tell you stop that also. Thank you. I'm proud of you. And I don't want to know why I should stop because I love you. It doesn't feel right to you. And that's why no is not right to you. Love loves you for who you are. And when you say you are in my energy, this doesn't feel right to me. What happened? You are showing them who you are. And if they love you, they said, okay, okay, I do this to everyone else, but it doesn't feel right to you. Okay, it doesn't, I don't understand, but I love your uniqueness and authenticity. I will stop doing it. They respect. They do not push, resist, force. They love you for who you are actually for your unique and authentic personal energy and <laughs> if they say 
This is love. I'm giving you love. They don't love you. They don't know what love is. They want to control. They want to just impose what they think is right. They don't respect your personal and unique energy. And love is unconditional respect of your unique personal energy. They don't know what love is. And they call it, this is my love for you. Hey, I ask you precisely, please don't do this. If you love me, you respect me. For I have shown you and asked you in my unique personal energy that you are guesting. Please don't do this. But you will understand I'm giving you love. And it means that actually they don't know what love is. They don't love you for who you are. For you have shown them who you are. You have asked them, please, precisely, don't do this to me. You can do this to us, please. And they say, you don't, I'm giving you love, you know. No, they don't love you. They don't know what love is. And that's why because they're doing this to others in their life, they have karma in relationships. And sometimes they don't have peace in life. Many times. And they don't love you. They actually just want from you what they want from you, your energy. And they just care to do what they want to do. Even when you tell them, please don't, they don't love you. They don't care that you would be happy. They don't care that you. they would make you happy. Love is to make you happy, never to do something that doesn't make feel right to you. No. They just... You tell to them this doesn't feel right to me. It makes me suffer in separation of self. Always when something doesn't feel right to me, it makes you suffer. When it doesn't feel right to you, you are in separation from self. And you have to tell them who you are. And they actually just want to do what they want. They don't love you. They don't care for you at that moment anymore. For you have shown them, really, this doesn't feel right to me. To love you means that I love you. I never want you to suffer. I never want you to do anything that will make you feel right, not right. And if I'm in your energy, when you say, please stop. I love you as I love myself. I'm free of this karma. I don't allow others to do to me what doesn't feel right to me, regardless if they're doing to everyone else. I love myself. So also I love another one. I don't want to do to another one in your energy what doesn't feel right to you. You are in my energy now. I respect my energy as yours. And when I know that it is not, it doesn't feel right to others, I don't want them to do this to me. I don't want no one to do this to me. So I do no to no one. And I say, because love is to make you happy. And if I'm in your energy, to respect your energy. Not to not care when you say this doesn't feel right to me. It means I feel separation from self. This doesn't feel right. This is... You say this is not love. They don't care. They don't care that you are not happy with what they do to you. They don't care that you will suffer if they will continue. They just want to keep doing it always. Because they call it love. Fuck that shit. That's not love. They are doing this all around the world. And that's why they suffer. And that's why they suffer so much. That's why they suffer so much. And then they call it love. You know how much another person sacrificed for them. And then they say this is love, you know.
how much other person puts up and sacrifices for them. And they call it love. But love is to make you happy, to care that you are happy and never make you unhappy, to make you do something that doesn't feel right. But the sacrifice for you is for you to suffer. And they don't love you if you have to sacrifice for them. And they call, oh, he loves me so much for he sacrificed, for she sacrificed so much for me. No, they don't love you. They don't care that you are unhappy suffering so they can get what they want. They only care for what they got. They only care for what they receive. They only care for their own happiness. And he loves me so much, he loves me so much, for she sacrificed so much for me. He sacrificed so much for me. He suffers so much, so I can be happy. I only care for my own happiness. And they love me if they make me happy and they suffer for me. And I can do to them whatever they want. And they do whatever I want for them and suffer for me so I can be happy. That's not love. That's ego. And this is what they are doing also. And in this world, they call, oh, he loves me, really. He did all these things to me. He sacrificed all his happiness. But you are happy. Why you can be happy and him not? He loves you, yes. But you don't love him. For to love you is to be happy, but to make another happy. And if another must do something that is to make him unhappy, you love him, you don't want him to suffer. You find another way. You want to be happy, but you want to make them happy. You want them to sacrifice for you. You know. And then you are happy. And you are taking care that other is not doing for you, putting up with things that do not feel right to them. Because you love them as yourself. And you take care that you are happy and you take care that you do not make another one unhappy to suffer for you. And you meet in between in things that feel right and resonate with both of you. Like she asked, please don't do this in my presence. Okay, I'll do this with my friends. I'll do this there. But you don't need. And if you cannot put up with it, you cannot. Then you understand. I love you for who you are. But I don't want you to suffer for me. I don't want to suffer for with you. So we part in love. Otherwise we will fight. And one of us will suffer for another. And you love yourself if you love another. And you find a match for yourself. I'm speaking about romantic love now. And you find a match for yourself, so... Somebody who you resonate with. That whatever your friends, your partners, that whatever you're doing... You know... That you don't, that nobody has to suffer for you, to do things that do not feel right for you. So you violate their energy, so do you control their energy, so they would suffer. But you take care that you are with people who do not control you, and you do not control them, so they don't have to suffer for you, you don't have to suffer for them, you don't create karma, and you have beautiful relationships. You know, love is to love you for who you are, to take care that you are happy as I am happy, to love you as myself. I will not suffer for you, you will not suffer for me. And this is in relationships, but love is, I don't allow anyone to do something in my energy that doesn't feel right. They can do it to everyone else and they're doing it to everyone else. And I take care in the energy of another never to do what doesn't feel right to them. I feel it and I stop. They don't even have to tell me so many times. And if they do, 
They never tell me again. I remember it all my life. You know, but one thing, if somebody bless, somebody blessing everybody and everybody loves it. They're teaching all over the places in comment, but they're searching for the truth. And everybody loves this, okay. They're blessing the food of everybody and everybody loves this. And they're sending healing to everyone. Everybody loves this. But if you do these things to me, if you do these things to me, it doesn't feel right to me. No. No! And I'm going to tell you why. Because as long as I have questions and doubts, I was not being the truth that I am with no question and doubt, no guilt and fear. Until I controlled my mind from the heart I didn't teach. Until I needed teachings from another. And you are in a class. And I just want everyone to feel the art of the word that I am and get the answer within. Not teach me and tell me what I know. They can do this to others. What's normal for everyone else is completely out of this world for enlightened men. No. Because I have no questions and doubts and they have and they are searching for the truth. And I don't have that truth. But if they feel the art of the word that I am and don't tell me what I know, don't defend their mind, try to control the truth and teach, they can get the truth, their truth revealed in the heart. Yeah. And when people bless my food, I'm sorry. All these things, healing, blessing my food, blessing me. Until I needed these things from others. I was working on myself and asking for blessings to those who have it and did not need it. Like this. This is a holy temple. My food is blessed by the source that I am. And everyone who partakes in that picture receives the blessings. I don't want nobody to bless. Because I don't receive blessings from nobody but the source that I am. That kind of blessings. For my spiritual development. For my healing. And this is a... Food blessed by enlightened master. Greatest blessing. And I'm very sensitive. Who gives me healing. Who blesses me and like this. I receive only from the source. That I am. And I am the blessing that I am. And. I don't want to be blessed by their state of consciousness, by their questions and doubt, by their guilt and fear, by their attachments, you know. And they have to realize they maybe need my teachings. And by blessing me, they do not allow to receive the blessing that I am. For as long as I needed blessings from another for my spiritual growth, I was working on myself in silence and didn't teach. And I was working on myself in India. And in India it's different. In India people seeking enlightenment, healing, freedom of this world do not bless enlightened masters. But receive blessings and are grateful for they need it. But in Wild Wild West they want to give to those who have it what they need. To those who could give it. Those who have it and those who are not asking for it and do not need it but are actually full of it and actually could give it and to them. But in this way, because their unconscious shadow is trying to give to others what they need, they don't receive for themselves. And I, be I started to teach when I became the blessing that I am in no need for blessing of other spiritual masters. And in India, we know that we bless with what we have. And we're working for this two decades to become masters, to become blessings that others need. And others must realize that maybe I'm free of their guilt, their fear, their attachments, their mind controlling them, questions and doubt, their suffering, their attachments. 
and maybe they really need my blessings. They try to do to give to me what else they need. I'm being sincere. And food, blessing my food, sorry. I'm a being who is very delicate with his energy. I don't want... Everyone can partake in a blessed food by the source that I am. I don't want consciousness of others to mess with my food. I love everyone as myself, but this is delicate. I allow to receive blessings for my spiritual growth, teaching, and bless my food only from source that I am. And everyone who receives the word that I am, who partakes in that food, And who offers me a donation and receives healing, they receive blessing they need. And as long as I needed blessings from teachers, I was getting blessed and healed by masters. I didn't go around, try to heal masters and bless them and give them what I need. I was enough conscious of my shadow to go there where it is, full, so I could receive and not so crazy to try to bless their food, try to bless them and teach them and heal them, especially healing. And this is my personal unique energy. I choose who, and everybody has free will to choose who they receive healing from, like this, you know? And I know, I don't want healing from anyone who is not free as I am. And people who want to give me healing, impose it, force it, they need my healing, they need my blessing. And they are suffering in things that I may be free for a long, 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 long time. And I'm not healing anyone against my will. And everybody is welcome to receive the healing. No, actually, whoever offers me a donation to the art of the word that I am receives the healing. So it is. I directly doing the healing. They're coming to bless me, to bless me, to give me blessings. But I'm just being in my class, in my temple, being the blessing. And I'm not forcing the blessing, healing on anyone. They have to just open their heart. They don't have to ask. They have to come for the blessing that I am. Before I became the blessing that I am, I didn't teach. And I'm not teaching anyone to tell you how to know better, to tell you what you should do, to tell you what is the truth, but I'm actually teaching only in my class and in my comments, responding to the mind, and no one else, nowhere else. So no one should teach me anything and tell me what I know. I have my way, way of a Zen master in my class, Feel the art of the word that I am and get the truth revealed from the heart. You are not your mind. Mind always wants to tell me what it knows. You can keep that. It's already what you have. What you always had. The cup that has to get empty for the truth to be revealed as you from the heart in your being. The truth. Baby. But I'm not forcing anything upon anyone. I'm just being the blessing, the teacher, the healing that I am. And nobody even has to ask. If you come to my temple, you know, you come to a spiritual master, teacher. Receive the teaching, receive the answer within. Open your heart and be, receive the blessing. Be grateful. And if you want a healing from me, I'm not a healer, but I do healing. On everyone who ever offers me a donation to me, but don't give me the donation for that. I receive donation that is given freely from the heart because of these teachings. And I do healing to everyone who offers me a donation, regardless the donation, as a gift, because you've given me a gift of love from the heart, and I want to give you my best energy.
I don't say nothing, I don't chat, I don't do messenger, in silence of the messenger I am, it doesn't feel right. If you say that I should be there, you don't love me, for it doesn't feel right to me. You know, like this. But I do healing on everyone who ever offers me a donation, because I'm so grateful feels right to me and really the blessing I require to stay in this world to bless people with blessing that they need that they require blessing that I am so they can become the blessing that I am healing that I am true that I am with no questions and doubt free of their mind free of guilt and fear free of attachments free of suffering doesn't feel right to me because not right to me so you have to understand, I went so deep into the tada. Why? It doesn't feel right to me. To understand that we are on different levels, on different state of consciousness, in different unique energies. And what doesn't feel right to me, maybe feel right to most of the world. But it didn't feel right to Buddha, didn't feel right to... Uh, Ramakrishna, I didn't feel right to Osho, I didn't feel right to Krishna, I didn't feel right to Jesus, I didn't feel right to Ananda, Mai, Mai Ma, to Radharani, I didn't feel right to any enlightened being in this world. Because they are well being the blessing that others need and they saw that others are giving them what they need. But they, we don't want that because you have to be free of that suffering and we work too long to get free. I was also two decades gone to work on myself, to become the blessing that I am. I don't want to be blessed with conditions of others. But I am the blessing so that others can get free of their conditions if they choose, like this. For your personal and unique energy is sacred. And what feels right in your energy when others come out of peace and give you is right for you. But when you are minding your own business, being in your Zen, being in your peace, and others impose something and doesn't feel right to you, they can say whatever they want, call it love, but it is not. It doesn't feel right to you in your unique personal energy, because your state of consciousness, your unique personal energy is different than what they are doing, it doesn't match. And if they love you, they stop doing it. And if they don't, they're gaslighting you. They don't love you. They don't care how you feel. They care what they want to do only. They only care for their own happiness. So you suffer for them. And then you say, you love them. No. They don't know what love is. I'm teaching as love. So you may be love and stop suffering. Just that, just for that. Thank you. And like I said, I've said before, so I'll not repeat. If anyone offers me a donation, you're so welcome, I put my link down there, and really, I'm so grateful from the heart, without of your donation, there would be no art of the world that I am. Thank you. No, this madman who doesn't allow anyone to do things that they do to everyone would not teach. That's why I appreciate you so much. I'm so grateful. If there's any blessing in my heart, let it all go to you. You choose to receive, I'm not imposing. But in giving, we receive, so... Who knows, maybe you receive more than you could ever give, even if you were the richest being in the universe. I mean materially. <laughs> love yourself as I love myself. But thank you so much. So much thank you. Healing, like I said, quantum white light source healing. I don't say anything. I just give you my word. I'm going to do it. Quantum healing, no appointment needed. Why would I say anything? It works on you how much you work on yourself. If you allow others to do to you what doesn't feel right to you, for you blame yourself that they are coming out of love, and then you don't heal yourself. You suffer for others always, and more and more you resent, and you even have to forgive. You cannot forgive, and then you suffer. But if you love yourself, and you understand that what doesn't feel right to you is not right to you, and you say to others to stop doing it, regardless. And if they gaslight you, 
if they say it is love, you know it is not. It is not love. They are gaslighting you. They only care for what they want to give you. They don't know that love is unconditional respect of unique energy of another that doesn't resist force control, but accepts unique personal energy of another. And then you save yourself, you heal yourself, I give you my word only. For every donation, uh, healing is performed. And everyone, please, love yourself. Love yourself. What doesn't feel right to your energy, others are doing it. They are guests in your personal energy. It doesn't feel right to you because it is not right for you. And if they love you, they stop doing it. And if they call it love, they don't know what love is. They don't love you. They don't care how you feel. They only want to give you what I want to give you. They all love you. Love yourself. Poor Namaste. Poor Namaste. Love yourself as I love myself. I love you as I love myself. But this doesn't mean that I love you the way you imagine it to be. And I'm going to do what you want. I love you as you are in your unique energy. And everybody can love me as I am. Otherwise, they love somebody else and they can find that one. For I'm telling you, who I am, crazy Zen master. Poor Namaste, much love and blessings. Only if you choose to receive, otherwise no one's imposing. No one is calling you love if you don't want. It's just here, here I am, everyone can receive. It's not mandatory. If you don't want, I love your unique personal energy. It's over. Poor Namaste, poor Namaste.